Hey everybody, uh, thank you so much for the warm welcome back to uh, making videos. Uh, I don't know how many I'll be making or how regularly, but I did uh, get an idea just from making that past video. Um, I had to kind of go back through my old process of how I make videos and make some changes to it. And I know several of y'all had asked how I make videos and what what I use to capture my terminal and so I thought I'd share with you today how you can uh, make videos using the command line and uh, not using you know, any fancy video editors now to be fair uh, command line is not really a good place to make images or or to make uh, you know animations on videos or you know something like the intro to this video I did have to use a video editor to create that but once you have a, an intro or ending file it's simple enough to add that to a new video that you can create on the command line and what I've always used to capture my video uh, to capture my screen is a program called FFmpeg that probably many of you are familiar with and uh, FFmpeg is kind of an audio-visual Swiss Army knife. It does uh, conversions between different file formats or uh, demuxing or muxing or changing containers and all that sort of stuff. What it also does is it has a variety of different sound and visual inputs and outputs and one of those inputs that it can take uh, for the visual aspect is grabbing your X11 screen so if you are using a an environment that has uh, X11 then uh, you can grab that screen with FFmpeg and that's actually exactly how I screencast so uh, let's tear through uh, my alias here, screencast. So it uses a FFmpeg and then it uh, uses an ALSA input with two channels. This is, stands for audio channel. Um, and you don't have to have all this stuff right here. Um, this is actually some fancy extra stuff that, uh, that I'll tell you about in a second. But you could just have this portion right here that uh, says also audio channel two audio cha channels and the input is from hardware device uh, card two device zero and you can see a list of my devices with uh, actually a record dash l and so card two device zero is my usb audio microphone it's an audio technica 2020 kind of old Nowadays, about it many years ago, but it still works pretty well. Much better than my internal microphone. Um, so you really don't, if you could just delete it out, uh, everything else, you know, delete it out this highlighted portion and delete it out this highlighted portion. You really only need this section and uh, that would capture your audio in. Um, then this portion here, format X11 grab, is what grabs the screen. So this is the visual portion. So uh, you can, you know, give FFmpeg an input for audio, and then you give it an input for visual. And so this is the format. It's an X11 grab. Uh, R stands for rate or frames per second, and S stands for size. So you want to tell the size of the video that you're going to create and then for input this is the uh, display number that uh, is inherent in all X11 systems usually it's going to be 0.0, .0. then I have to decide 
uh, how I want to transcode or encode, I should say, these uh, inputs. I have an audio input and I have to choose which codec I want to encode it with. And uh, same with the, with the visual aspect. So I'm going to make it into an MP4, which generally uses AAC and H.264. So I'm going to use those codecs to encode it. This uh, CRF stands for constant rate factor, and uh, it's basically a um, it's basically complicated. I'll put it that way. But by setting it to zero, it effectively makes the video uh, encoding lossless, meaning it doesn't uh, skip frames or or uh, try to anyways it doesn't add any error to it it takes what you get you get what you get and then this preset medium the these both by the way are options that apply to this h.264 codec which if you want to uh, know more about you can always read through the h.264 uh, help but uh, anyway where was I The preset uh, option, medium, has other options like fast, ultra fast, very fast. Um, basically, this uh, determines how fast the encoding will do, uh, will, um, the encoding will occur in exchange for how much, how large the file size is. So the slower it encodes, the smaller the file size is, and the faster it codes, the bigger file size is. So I have it set to uh, medium here. You can kind of play around with it. I've had uh, success with these settings, but you can really try a bunch of different things. So I'm actually running this screencast right now to, to uh, capture this uh, to capture this uh, X11 screen and, and and record this video. So this is that command right here, screencast, running, and as you can see it figures out uh, where the input streams are coming from and then uh, puts them in. You can see somewhere down here that it's uh, going to encode to AAC and to H.264. So this is Stream 2 is going to have raw video that's native and go to H.264. And then this stuff, the A mix and all that is kind of a, uh, this is all that fancy stuff we skipped over. So if we come back to this loop out stuff, basically this is a way that I can allow multiple inputs into the video. So you can hear my microphone, but you could also hear my system sounds if one played and uh, basically that uses uh, ALSA's A-loop um, module if you, you can grab your LS mod uh, this module sound A-loop is what uh, allows for this loopback device that can uh, mix these or allow FFmpeg I should say to mix these inputs together. So then once you have your video, uh, assuming I have a given intro file, uh, I can concat that video uh, with the intro file. Um, well, actually before we get ahead of ourselves first, I would like to cut the beginning, the beginning and end of the intro file because when I first run the command you see this screen and then I kind of move over to a full screen terminal which uh, is nothing fancy, it's just kind of a bigger font size terminal that's um, that's full screened but uh, before I can get here you see this screen and I'd like to cut that off the beginning and off the end of my video when I have to start and uh, stop the screencast or FFmpeg I should say so the way I do that is with a cut command um, 
I don't like remembering a bunch of stuff. I like things to be simple, so I just make little functions out of my Bash RC. So the cut video is just a FFmpeg again, which takes uh, the input file, which is whichever uh, file we just made with our screencast, and and it cuts from uh, from dollar sign two to dollar sign three. So this SS, I'm not sure what it stands for. I think maybe it's uh, start stage or something like that and uh, you start at that time and then this 2 allows you to specify an end time you also sometimes see a dash T if you leave out the O and just do dash T then it's a duration instead of the end time and then this uh, C copy just says use the same codecs that were already in use from the original file and just uh, do this to it and put it out to a new file so then we have a, a a new video called Cut MP4 that's just from this uh, start time to this end time. So then, once I'm done with that, I just uh, I add it to my intro video, which uh, lives in here, and uh, I have another little function that does that. Um, I've seen a lot of different uh, things that or I guess explanations on how to concatenate two video files but uh, a lot of them just did not work for me or the end result even if the command ran the end result was not correct or uh, had errors in it but this one works for me even though it's a little bit uglier it it works well and basically what it does is it copies the input file into a transport stream I should say it copies both of the inputs into a transport stream and then it it uh, concatenates those transport streams together and then uh, puts them out to a new mp4 file and removes the the temporary transport streams so that's why I put this in a function so I don't have to remember all this so if I just type concat video and then the, this cut the you, whichever one you want to go first, you type first. So I do uh, cat video and then this, and then for the second parameter, I put my cut video, and then it just puts them together. And then I can uh, upload that to YouTube. So uh, hopefully that was interesting. And uh, for those of you who are wondering how I code these video, uh, upload these videos, or make these videos. Uh, nothing fancy about my terminal, it's just a full screen terminal. This is the i3 uh, window manager that's running here. Um, you can find a lot of information on it elsewhere. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So hope you enjoyed it. And uh, again, thank you for all the support on my last video. I do appreciate it and I will try to make some more videos. Hope you'll have a good day.